start friends. Today we're going to be making an origami pumpkin together. It's going to be super fun and if you really get into making origami pumpkins I'll show you how to make a garland from your pumpkins. So I've got some string and some tape that we'll be using later. For right now I've got a piece of origami paper, a popsicle stick to help me with some folds, and one that I've folded already that I can use to help us as a guide. So my origami paper has white on one side and color on the other. If yours is like that, you want to begin with the white side facing up so that that will be on the inside of your model when you're finished. If your paper is the same color on both sides, no importa, doesn't matter. So let's begin by folding our paper in half side to side. And our fold will go right down the middle. So I'm going to fold my paper in half side to side. Then I'm going to rotate my paper 90 degrees and fold it so that, um, fold it in half again so that when we're done, we end up with a plus sign. We have folds down the center of our paper going both directions. So side to side, I'm matching my folds here, picking up the side that already has a fold in it and folding that across. So when we open it back up, we see our plus sign or a cross. Now we'll fold the outside edge into the center. So we'll be making a fold halfway in this side. Edge into the center. And because this origami model is symmetrical, we'll be doing the same thing on the other side outside edge into the center. So we're just folding this side in half. So let's fold our outside edge into the center. Now, if we rotate our model once again, so that our fold is horizontal, our rectangle is horizontal, we are going to fold the outside edge into the center. So my fold will be right here, halfway from the center to the edge. Outside edge to the center. Same thing on the other side, outside edge into the center. And our fold will be halfway from the center to the outside edge. So we've gone back to a square now. We started out with a square and we've gone back to a square. But it won't stay a square for long. We're about to modify it. So now we are going to fold, uh, we're going to flip our whole model over and once again fold the outside edge into the center. So we'll have a fold that goes down the center here. It's actually a quarter of our model if you're really into math. So flip it over. So on this side all we have is a solid square and we're going to fold the outside edge into the center. When I flipped it over, I made sure that this vertical center, center fold stayed vertical. I mean, where those edges meet, it's not a fold. Where those edges meet, stayed vertical. So I'm folding the outside edge into the center. And it's getting a little more challenging now. We're getting some more layers. So to make nice folds, you may want to use your tool to help you, a popsicle stick, a marker, whatever you have. 
And because our origami is symmetrical, we'll be doing the same thing on the other side, folding the outside edge into the center. And that will give us a fold line halfway between the center and our outside edge here. So on this side, outside edge to the center. All right, now that we've done that, we are going to unfold back to a long rectangle. So I've still got uh, my two sides folded over on the underside there. And it's a horizontal, we have it as a horizontal rectangle now. So the next thing that we're going to do is fold these center two rectangles each in half. So we're going to make a fold that goes down the center of my center rectangle. This is the center of my paper. And this is the first rectangle to the right of the center. So I'm just going to fold that rectangle in half. So we're going to fold this rectangle in half. I just line up my folds at the end of my paper here. Make a little crimp with my thumb and finger, and then that makes it easy to make the whole fold. Okay, and then you'll notice this next fold next to it is already folded in such a way that we can just fold that piece right over. It makes a little zigzag just like our standing pumpkin model did. So we just fold. What we're really doing is folding the half of the rectangle that's furthest from the center under the center. So the fold goes actually to the center of our paper and it leaves that second rectangle whole. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. We're going to fold this first rectangle on the left of the center in half. And we'll tuck under the second part of that rectangle. So now just like the standing pumpkin model, We've got a little zigzag, and this is the center of our paper. So let's fold this rectangle in half. We can use the side that we already folded to help us line it up and fold it over. Now, we are going to do the same thing on the next rectangle. We're going to fold that in half and tuck the outside edge under. So for our next fold, the rectangle that we have right here, we're just going to fold that in half and tuck the furthest part under. So the part that's farthest away from the center we will tuck under. So we have two rectangles left here on the end. This next to the last one is the one we are going to fold in half. Crimp the ends. Finish my fold. Pinch and slide is a, another good way to make a crease. And then this is the rectangle we just folded. I'm just going to tuck this side under. I actually have to reverse the fold here at the end of my paper. It goes a lot easier on the one I've already folded. So now we just have Okay. 
this is the rectangle we just folded in half. And the side of that rectangle that's closest to the center, that's the one I'm going to tuck in this time. So I have a whole entire rectangle left on the end. I have two zigzags there. So let me show you on this side. This is the rectangle that we're going to be folding in half. And this side, this half of the rectangle that's closest to the center is the one we're going to tuck under. So I have my two rectangles here. So we are going to fold this rectangle in half and tuck it under. So let's fold this next to the last rectangle in half. And I'll pinch and slide to make a crease this time. And then this closest part of the rectangle to the center is the one that I'm going to fold under. So I'm just going to reverse this fold. So right now we have two whole rectangles on the outside edges, a whole rectangle in the center, and then two zigzags on either side. Now that is the basic structure of our pumpkin. Now what we need to do is fold in the corners to make it look rounded to give us those sections. So we can start up here at the top and you can see how I just fold the corner over. And I'm just lining it up with the center of that fold. Just fold those corners over as far as you can. And we'll do that for the top four folded corners and we'll fold the bottom four over. All right. So let's go ahead and make those folds on our pumpkin. These corners where we have the parts that are folded back, I'm just going to fold those in and down. And I'm just lining up the top edge of the paper with the center of our fold. Just fold this corner back as a triangle. And we'll do that on the top and on the bottom. We are really close to finishing our pumpkin. So we've got those corners finished, the top and the bottom. Now to do our outer corners. On the bottom corners, I folded in this, a, a triangle with the same proportion as these triangles. So I went from the edge of the rectangle up and just folded those corners back. I lined up the bottom edge of my paper with this fold. And we'll do that on both sides. So you can even fold, turn, flip your origami model over and use this fold to line up your triangle. Last fold here. Now for the top, I wanted my top to have, uh, I mean for the bottom, I wanted the bottom of my pumpkin to uh, have a steeper angle so I folded it from my center fold here down to this fold.
and that changes the angle of our pumpkin. So from my bottom fold here to the middle fold there, I'll fold them back. And here's how it looks on the completed pumpkin. So I'm just gonna flip my paper over and I'm gonna fold from this corner to the center. Same thing on this side. And we have completed our pumpkin fold. You can glue on a green stem on the back. I know technically origami is just folded paper, but this one does involve a little gluing, um, just like the standing pumpkin if you wanted to glue on a stem. So you can glue on a stem. There are a couple of other finishing touches you can add if you like. This pumpkin, I actually glued down where the layers folded over each other so that it would um, lay more flat. So you can do that if you like. And also these corners that we folded here at the top, if you'd like, you can reverse these folds. So I just open it up and push it in. And this is just a little fancier way of finishing your corners. Totally optional. I'll show you again. So I open the fold and I'm just pushing it in reversing my fold. So that's an optional way to complete your pumpkin. After you have a bunch of pumpkins finished, and if you glued them, they're all dry, you can line them up with a string. Take them to make a pumpkin garland. Give yourself plenty of room between your pumpkins so that they can each have their own space. Because even though they're origami and they are theoretically alike, I bet each one has its own particular character. Pumpkin garland. Have fun creating, friends. See you later.